I'm finally finishing up this intervalometer project and basically I got it to work exactly what I want. I added a servo and then I added an LED at the top just to show what happens when you're taking a picture. LED, flashing the LED and taking a picture with the um, camera with a cord that's hacked is really simple so it's about the same thing. And You can see a lot of other videos on that in my previous video of how I did that. Some of the things I added are a potentiometer and a button so when we look at the close up you see that you start off with a button, so you hit the button and then the whole thing starts. And then you can change the speed of which it is rotating and which it's firing with the potentiometer. So you're going to see it goes from slow to pretty fast. So this project is great for panoramic um, time lapse movies and then anything time lapse where you want a little bit of motion. And it's really simple to build. So the next part I'm going to go into how I work my code. So what is my code doing? Basically I have this LED pin here. I have a button pin here. I'm attaching my servo here. And then a couple of things on the pot pin for the potentiometer. So basically this is built on a stopwatch program. And it looks for button state changes. So this kind of is, um, this is built into the original one, but there's a little uh, debouncer right here so you can um, control the button. If you don't put the debounce, sometimes it, it acts really funny. So you can look up other videos on debouncing, but this is basically the debounce right here. There's another debounce right here too, so making sure that the um, the time it's hit is longer than that time in between, so it doesn't give like a weird reading. But if you look in here, when the timer's running, I add five degrees each time to the to the um, what's going to write to the uh, what's going to write to the servo. So POS is the position of the servo, and so if it's, as long as it's under 180, which is the full range of the servo it's going to keep on adding 5 and then writing that so you can that's how you move it forward once it hits 180 right here it's going to set back to 0 so that's how i did that and this is kind of built into there so if you want to add anything if you want to change anything um go ahead um i put the github on there so you can just get through it through there but pretty simple i looked at a stopwatch code from paul badger and then basically added the other stuff to it and lastly, this is the fritzing diagram. So basically, you can take out the LED and put in your camera cord into there. And it's going to work on a lot of different cameras. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Arduino-based camera projects. Thanks. Bye.